Hello, I'm Jeff Jedders for ITBusiness.ca, and today we go all hands on tech with HP's answer to the MacBook Air, the Spectre X360. When I first unboxed HP's Spectre X360, my first thought was, darn, that's pretty. You can certainly see the Apple influence uh, with the aluminum body, the chocolate keyboard, and the just plain slick lines. And they paid attention to the little things too, like high-rent packaging and a new cream sleeve to help keep it looking new. And like most Apple products, it feels like a high-end premium device. At just over three pounds, it certainly is portable. And the X360 doesn't only look pretty. It has a lot of power under the hood with an Intel Core i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of SSD storage. It also takes advantage of Windows 8 with a 13.3 inch HD touchscreen display offering a very nice 1920 by 1080 resolution. I took the X360 on a few business trips with me uh, and to be honest, results were a little bit mixed. Uh, it was certainly very portable and the battery life was fantastic, but I had a few issues with usability. For example, the trackpad. It wasn't always as responsive as I would like. Also, I'm a pretty frequent user of the right click, and I found that the lack of dedicated left and right mouse buttons was pretty frustrating. If you're going to build me a high-end laptop, you should give me a high-end trackpad too. Now, one of the top selling points for the X360 is supposed to be that it's not just a laptop, it's a tablet as well. But I found that using it in tablet mode was a bit awkward. For example, when you're in tablet mode, the keyboard is actually on the back, which really feels kind of weird. As well, the 13.3 inch size is a bit unwieldy for a tablet. I also found that when using it in landscape format, the air vents were over my hand, which of course blocked the air vents and raised the temperature and caused it to get a little bit hot. The Spectre X360 was designed by both HP and Microsoft to be a high-end showcase of what an ultra-portable running the new features of Windows 10 can do. And while my number hasn't yet come up in the Windows 10 lottery, I would wager that the Spectre X360 is probably about the best Windows 10 laptop you could buy. And while it comes so close to perfection, I feel it just falls a little bit short. Still, if you're in the market for a Windows-based high-end ultra portable, you'd be hard-pressed to do any better than the HP Spectre X360. For all hands-on tech, I'm Jeff Jedgers.